Hey there, Pat and Dad, and today I'm heading out on a probably a half day trip down the Barnaby River, which is actually really close to where I live here in Nelson Miramichi. I've never paddled this before, haven't fished it, and bringing the fishing rod. There could possibly be some trout running through. And from my understanding, it's a pretty calm, slow moving river system, just like, like the big Barty Bog, I think. And then there supposedly is a decent rapid at the very end, Saunders Rapids where the uh, river dumps into where it meets the tideway. So I'm excited to check that out and water height should be pretty good. So I'm hoping to make at least decent time. And then um, it will be 18 kilometers from put into the tideway and then another 10 kilometers down the main mare machine, right up to about within 300 meters of my house here. So it'll be nice to finish up right here at home. And I have no idea what the tide's going to be, so I'm going to cross my fingers that I'm going with the tide, but I may be going against, so it might be a lot more work than I anticipate. See what happens. And we're off, Barnaby River Adventure. Look at this river, look at this day. No complaints, here we go. Okay, so I made it to my first destination, which was, which is the Barnaby Bridge, right there. That's where the Barnaby River meets the tidal Miramichi River. And right on point, my GPS pretty much lines up with the measuring it last night on Google Earth, so about 18 and a half kilometers. And then I have to go down river about 10 kilometers, and that'll bring me right almost to my house, about 300 meters from my house. So. Pretty good rip so far, nice slow moving river. Average moving speed was about 5K per hour. Saunders Rapids, which I was interested to see what uh, these were gonna be like, but the water's quite low and there wasn't really much of a rapid. It was a little bit of white curling water, but nothing um, technical or even very, uh, very big at all. But they do say in high water in the spring, uh, it is a little bit more challenging. And you can see there is a, a topographical um, quite a grade drop in that about a kilometer section. So, next stop is home. Here we go. A little bit of wind, a little bit of tide, wake from some boats. It's making it out to be a bit of work doing this last stretch. Okay, so as you can see, that's what I was supposed to be paddling against. I ended up hitting a standstill in the middle of the river and just I couldn't move. I was doing everything just to stay put. And my shoulders are pretty toasted and core and everything's pretty tired. So the plan is that's the Nelson train bridge there, South Nelson train bridge. And Bull Bears is right beyond that, which isn't far from where I'm gonna take out. So I'm gonna walk my boat because it's a lot faster to walk at this point and then hopefully bow bears will provide a bit of a windbreak and I can paddle the last kilometer or two. Anyways, see what happens.
Well, best laid plans of mice and men often go awry. I'm about, I don't know, two kilometers left down the river, but I'm supposed to be going this way. That tide's coming in pretty hard. And I just, the river gets really wide. I gotta shut her down, hike up over the hill, probably just walk home or hitchhike home and then come back and get my canoe. Almost made her. Almost, so close, so close. 